Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how you can uncover hidden ideas and underlying themes in any discourse using Infranodus visual text analysis tool and the new O1 ChatGPT model. It will be particularly interesting for researchers and marketers because I will show you how you can take any discourse, visualize it as a knowledge graph and then slice off the top layers of content so you can get to the topics that no one else is seeing. That will enable you to identify the gaps in those topics and then use the built-in AI to generate interesting research questions that you can copy and paste to the new ChatGPT-01 model and generate some really interesting insights that no one else will have because no one will target those hidden topics that you will discover using this approach. If you're interested to see how it works, keep watching and I will demonstrate step by step. Also, please subscribe to this channel so this video can get recommended to other people interested in the same content. We'll be using an app that's called Infranodus, and in order to begin, you will need to import some content. In this case, I'm going to be using the news of the day because that's something highly universal. Everyone knows what's happening, news in English. But you can also use your own PDF documents, Google search results, anything you want. Infranodus has multiple different import options. What happens here is that Infranodus uh, takes the top news from the top five newspapers, Financial Times, Guardian, Washington Post, visualizes them as a graph where the words will be represented as the nodes and the co-occurrences are the connections. So this is how it works and this is how you get this visualization. Based on this representation, we use Force Atlas layout to represent the main topics as clusters. They have a specific color and the more influential ideas, like in this case, for instance, are bigger on the graph. So for example, this graph shows you that the news of the day are talking about Ukraine, weapon, Biden, then Trump, Harris, obviously, and so on. And then if you turn this on, it will show you which topics uh, are the most prominent one here. So Ukraine, Russia, election chaos, disaster recovery, political turmoil. That's quite a typical picture of the news of the day. So the approach that I want to show you today is not based on identifying those surface high level ideas. It's based on slicing off the top layers of content to get to the latent themes and hidden ideas that no one else is looking at. And this is why it can be really useful if you're doing research or if you're a marketer, because you will target the stuff that no one else is targeting. How do you do that? In Infranodus, you can do it in two ways. You can select the nodes that you don't need. So, for example, you know that everyone is talking about Ukraine, Biden, uh, Harris and Trump, right? So you can remove this from the graph like this and then it shows you what's hiding underneath. Or you also have this button here, which slices off the most influential concepts shown here. So it will automatically slice the uh, top influential concepts if you click this button. And this is the approach that I like to use. I look at the graph, I see that, okay, the main ideas of the news of the day are Ukraine, Russia, political turmoil, election chaos, disaster recovery. I kind of know that these subjects will be prominent, so I'm going to remove the top layer of those concepts and then Infranodus automatically recalculates the clusters and gives me slightly more precise definitions of the themes that we can find in this discourse. For instance, in this case, we see that, okay, now it's about presidential legacy, law enforcement, media coverage, investor fears. For instance, I might be interested, okay, so what do people say about investor fears, right? If I'm investing money, that can be interesting for me. I click here then I can see the statements that belong to this topic. Here you will have the filter showing up that you're filtering by this topic. So you can see the news uh, which form this cluster, or you can also click this button and then the built-in AI will summarize them for you. So you will understand what this topic actually represents. And this is a great way to get to the depths of the content and focus on the stuff that are a little bit more hidden from the surface, right? And once you represent it this way, like you sliced off the top layer of content, then you can go to the blind spots here, highlight it in the network. So for example, here we have a gap between media coverage and investor fears, and we can think of the connection ourselves, uh, which can be very interesting, and it might also stimulate your thinking process. Very good if you're doing research, because you don't want ready-made answers, you want interesting questions. So here the question is, what's the connection between media coverage and investor fears? And you can even click here and kind of expand those topics to see what are the keywords inside. So you can see that, okay, there's something about Colgate, Coca-Cola investors investing money into these really traditional companies on the one side because they fear recession. And then on another side, there's this media coverage of the war and torture, Iraq war and stuff like that. So that's the point. It's like a very unlikely connection. And you want to ask yourself, is there any relation between these two pieces of news? 
because no one else is thinking about this, right? So you want to think, is there something that the media is maybe obscuring a little bit by covering those uh, big topics like war and conflict? And in fact, there is a recession coming and no one is thinking about that. But some people do, and maybe you should also think about this topic because that will help you make a better investment before everyone else jumps on it, right? And if you want, you can also click this AI Insight button and then the built-in GPT-4 will generate a question for you. So for example, here it says, how do strategies of fear-mongering in media by state and non-state actors impact international investment trends, especially in brands linked with stability like Coca-Cola and Colgate amidst political campaigns and global unrest? It's a great question. We can copy this question that's based on this structural gap. You see the, the way it works is that it identifies the gap and then tries to think of a question that would bridge them together, right? So you can copy this question or get an answer for it. So you can click on elaborate and then use the chat button. And also don't forget to click derive from this context if you want the answer from the news. But if you want a more general answer, you can untick it here click chat and then the built-in AI will give the answer for you, which is quite short, right? So for example, here it says that, okay, fear mongering in media influences public perception, leading to decreased consumer confidence. This impacts international investments as brands like Coca-Cola and Colgate, Siemens, a stable may face reduced demand if associated with unrest or manipulated by political agenda. So this is like a shorter question and you can of course regenerate more answers and kind of see if it corresponds to your own insights. Or you can take that question and go to the new ChatGPT-01 preview model here. And I'll actually make a new chat, so it's a bit cleaner. And then you paste this question here, and you see what the new smart model has to say on this topic. And that will take longer time. Um, and then you would be able to see, you know, what, what it's thinking about that, right? And that can be really interesting if you're doing research to kind of first think of your own idea and then see what idea it generates. And then in the end, you know, you could even use the built-in uh, Infranodos browser extension to analyze this answer itself and then to see what are the main topics there. So market performance, fear-mongering, investment trends. I'll actually expand it so you can see it better. Short-term stability. So it gives you an idea. Okay, it's talking about this kind of idea of how uh, global unrest connects to the performance of markets and how it affects investment expectations and what you should be looking at in order to uh, come up with a sound investment strategy. If you want, you can also use the built-in AI question generator or idea generator here, which will then generate some idea for you. It actually first generates a question and then it answers the question. So it's some kind of like LLM chain built in, right? So we ask the smart model to generate a long answer for us. And then we ask Infranodus to take all that text, all that answer, find the gap inside the sensor and then generate a new idea. So here we're really jumping onto the hidden stuff because we're really trying to see what are the topics that no one else is thinking about. Then we identify connections that no one else is thinking about. And then we ask the model to generate some ideas for us. So for example, here it's saying how fear mongering in media can undermine investor trust and stable brands, leading some to redirect capital towards perceived safer assets, hence affecting this company's brand equity and supply chain stability. So that's interesting because we see that, okay, the more of this kind of like uh, escalation will be happening in the media on the topics of war and election, the more people will want to flock to safer assets. That means that demand will increase. So we probably want to invest into those more stable companies that uh, live through time and kind of like we know for sure that their products will be in demand. So that's great because we almost get like an investment advice. Now, I want to show you the original graph we had and ask you if we would get an investment advice here, if we read what everyone is reading, right? So for example, if we just looked here, election chaos, diplomatic challenge of weapons to Ukraine, and uh, then this topic of like um, rebuilding communities, political turmoil, it's kind of general, like we know all these things are happening and they're bad, but what is the actionable insight from it? Not much. This is why slicing off the top layers of information is a very good approach because it helps you look at the things that no one else is looking. And you don't even need Infranodus for this. You can just do it with uh, any information that you receive, right? Like you open news and then you look at the front page and what really helps is to see like, okay, what are they talking about, right? And how you can then slice off the top layer of what everyone is talking about in order to get to the 
really hidden stuff that no one is reading, that uh, no one is paying attention to because it's obscured by all these big topics. But in fact, it's those stuff that are interesting because these are the things where you can get some actionable insights from. Like you cannot do anything about the war, but you can do something about uh, your money, for instance, or uh, what you give value to. For instance, there's maybe some things uh, in technology that you can work on that will really change the situation. But if you're not a politician, you cannot do anything about politics. So it's kind of like an approach that you can also use in everyday life, I think. And this is why I really like using it when I analyze information. Now I want to show you another document and how we can also use it in science. So here I have a, a research paper which I imported. I will show you how you do this. I go to apps, analyze text content, file upload. And here I have a, a re, like an overview of EEG devices. I'm interested in the subject of how you can read the brain frequencies uh, and analyze them. And this is a paper that reviews them, right? So here in Fernandes imports this document. You can also import several documents at the same time, visualizes it as a graph. And let me show you how you can use the same approach of slicing off the top layers of information when you perform research. So. I will look at the graph first and I will see that EEG is uh, the most prominent term. It's the biggest on the graph, it's in the center. But that's quite obvious because uh, it's a review of EEG devices. So I don't need this term here, I select it, I remove it. Then I look at the graph again, I see that, okay, there's uh, this, I can switch off the topics for now and just look at the specific concepts, right? Wireless devices, okay, I don't need this information also because I know it's about Devices, but maybe wireless not, like wireless can be interesting. So I'll keep wireless and just remove devices. And what I will also do, I will delete this because this is an artifact of research papers. They always quote papers and then it says like at all, it, it means and other people. So I remove this because that doesn't carry any meaningful information for me. And then I can look a little bit more at the graph and see what else I can remove. And your Goal here is to target uh, modularity. Actually, that's a little trick for the advanced users. You want to reach about 0.4 and you want it to be in the optimal range because if it's in the low range, it means that some nodes, some concepts overtake too much attention. So you're not uncovering it well enough and you want to kind of like cut off the top layer until you reach 0.4. But you don't have to do it directly. What you can do first is remove the first uh, top words that I just did which you really don't need. And then you can turn on this high level idea so you can see the AI generated names for each of the cluster here, wireless mobility, electrode comparison, neuroimage characteristics, and clinical monitoring, right? And then already here, you can identify blind spots by highlighting them in the network and then generating some questions for insight. But what you can also do if you know this topic already, for instance, you will probably expect that there is some possible connection between clinical monitoring and neuroimage characteristics. It's quite general subjects. So what you do at this point is that you reset all filters and then you just apply the same approach of cutting off the top layers until you reach the concepts and topics that are hidden, that are latent in this discourse, right? So I'll cut off this. This will re remove these four concepts here. So wireless electrode system brain. All of these devices, almost all of them are wireless. They all have electrodes, they all are systems and they all work on brain. So that makes sense to remove this top layer, right? And then let's see what's hiding underneath. So Infranodes automatically recalculates community structure. You see we are now in the optimal topical diversity range. So that's very good because that, that means that uh, all the topics are sufficiently pronounced for us to analyze them one by one, they're separate from another enough, so the modularity is high. And by the way, if you want a scientific explanation of how that works, just click on the question mark. You have the explanation here with the references to scientific papers. And now we can start finding hidden stuff. So here we see that, okay, on the more specific level, this, this paper is talking about participant analysis, so who is participating in those studies. Real-time monitoring, that's a big topic too. Signal quality, neuroimaging characteristics. Again, it's interesting because it's more specific, but to me it sounds quite general because I know that we, we will be talking about participant analysis and real-time monitoring and characteristics and signal quality. But that's already, it gives me insight of what they're looking at in this paper. They want to see 
what what is the signal quality in these different EEG de devices, what are the characteristics, how, how you can do this in real time, and how you also choose the participants for the study. So that's interesting. I can write it down here. In fact, you have an option here that I really like where you can save these topics to the notes. And what Infranodus does is that it automatically uh, saves them for you into these uh, notes here. So you have this kind of keywords and ideas here. And you can also auto-generate from analytics and then it will make some sort of report of the main topics that you find. Uh, some interesting connections, uh, bigrams, so the combinations of words, and that's like a really great way to save some insights from your analysis along the way. Now, if I think, okay, this is pretty clear to me that this is what the paper is about, I click this button again, remove the top layer of content again, so I'm kind of slicing off the top to get to the bottom of the pyramid. And here I see real-time analysis again pops up, cognitive monitoring, participant mobility, literature review. So for example here, that's interesting because uh, I understand that, that they're doing a literature review and I can click here to expand it a little bit and I see that they're talking a lot about the papers and the quality of papers. So what I can do, I can actually select this whole topic by clicking here. That's a feature that not so many people know exists in Infranauts, but you can click here, select this cluster, right? And then you remove this whole cluster from the graph so you don't have this topic in your analysis. And you can do this with uh, specific topics that you don't need, right? So for example here, I'm also not so interested in participant mobility. So I'm gonna get rid of this too, slice it off the graph. And then uh, let's see what else we can remove. Maybe real-time analysis, I don't need so much. I'm gonna select this, remove the top layer. Now we're getting to something much more specific. Data transmission, for instance, and cognitive monitoring. That's interesting. I click on the blind spot. I identify this structural gap. You see these two topics are not so well connected. So I'm going to try to think of a connection between them. If I know the subject matter, I can think of the connection myself. If I don't, I can help myself by uh, generating AI question. And here is a very interesting thing because you can copy this question, then you can go to the good new ChatGPT01 model, right? And then you paste this highly scientific question that says, how can optimizing the balance between input impedance and digital resolution in EEG devices enhance cognitive monitoring applications in real life settings, considering the trade-offs in battery life for long-term attention and sleep studies? It's an amazing question. It could almost be like a hypothesis for a research, you know, it could start uh, a new research direction and then you create this uh, overview which you can of course read or you can again click on the Infranodus extension, visualize it and then reiteratively use the same approach on what the AI generated for you and what ChatGPT generated for you. So you can again look at the main topics of how this will actually be done. So how can you enhance and optimize the balance between input impedance and digital resolution in those devices. And these are already some insights, the answers. So digital enhancement, cognitive monitoring, data quality, power efficiency. So that shows you all the things that you can do to improve the analysis. So for example, power of efficiency is a big thing. If you're an inventor, that could be an interesting direction for you to work in how you can make these devices more power efficient because that will enable uh, the scientists to analyze uh, data in uh, the long term. So that's already almost like a new invention idea for you or an idea for a patent, for instance. Or you can also use the gaps inside and then uh, identify those gaps, uh, just like we did in the main version of Infranodus, but here we're doing it on ChatGPT answer. And again, we uncover those insights here by identifying those gaps. And by the way, if you want to uh, slice off the top layer of content, you can do this also in the extension. So for example, if you feel that those topics are a little bit generic, you can always go to the concepts, reveal underlying, uh, cut off the top layer of concepts, go to the topics again, go to the gaps and be like, okay, so here that's already becoming neural improvement and efficient optimization. That's interesting. Let's see where it appears. So there we click on the context and it shows you two most uh, related statements to each of those topics. So you can read this and think of a connection yourself if you like to 
think about those things on your own or you can generate a question based on this gap so that question will bridge the gap between these two topics then you copy that question and then send it back to the new advanced model and see what it has to produce and you uh, do this in an iterative manner by slicing off the top layers of ideas generating new questions feeding them back to the model taking information in and if anything it will give you a really good overview of any topic allow you to see the stuff that everyone else is missing and most importantly you will activate your thinking process because it becomes very easy to start thinking about a certain topic imagine if you had to read this paper in the original you know like it's a long paper many pages here you're kind of activated the process of thinking it becomes really fast really fluid you have this visual representation gap so Infranodus is guiding you to separate uh, this whole text into ideas look at the relations between them look at the gaps generate ideas between these gaps slice off the top layer of ideas to get to the deeper themes that are latent and that are more interesting and that maybe no one else is looking at repeating the process un until you get to the stuff that you find interesting that are highly relevant and that could be really beneficial for this whole discourse so that's how you could also contribute to scientific research using this methodology that's it i encourage you to try it out with uh, infranodus and ChatGPT. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments to the video below. And you can try this on infranodos.com. Thank you very much.